Hi everybody. We're going to do a little cooking today. Uh, of course, I'm Kurt, and this is Ella. And we are going to make Zupa Tuscana. I posted on Facebook a few weeks ago. I had made this, and I posted just a picture. And it's got all of Ella's favorite things in this dish, but she's never had this soup before. So <laughs> her mother just made a horrible face going. She likes all those things. Well, she likes bacon. She likes potatoes and kale. And it's a big comedy show. Comedy show. Apparently. And um, so uh, we'll go through all the ingredients. We've done all the prep work, and then we'll put it together. Here are our ingredients. So the dish starts out with Italian sausage. There's our Italian sausage. We're going to fry that up. We are going to take that out when it's done, and then we'll add the bacon. Then we'll add the onions, which is a half medium onion, two cloves of garlic, and then we'll add our chicken broth. There's our chicken broth. And then we'll add our potatoes, and we'll let that cook. And then we'll add about four cups of kale after that, and of course, salt and pepper. And at the very end, we'll put in some great whipping cream, which is delicious. Right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. So we'll start out by putting about a, um, a turn of olive oil olive oil in the Dutch oven and because I'm gonna make everything in one pot I'm gonna let that get hot and we'll add the sausage. The Italian sausage. So Ella is getting the sausage ready. Italian sausage. There it is. Come along. Bacon. So Ella what is this in the Dutch oven now? <laughs> bacon, bacon, bacon. <laughs> bacon, bacon, bacon. All looks nice and crispy, and now we're going to add the onions until they are translucent. I like to say translucent. <laughs> My eyes are burning. Okay, here we go. Onions are a translucent. I think we're good there, so I'm going to reach over and grab some garlic. garlic in there. I did reduce the heat down to about a medium high just so that the garlic won't burn. Here's the garlic. There you go. Now dad's going to add the chicken broth. Not all of it, but just some of it. And I did reduce the heat a little bit. Oh yes, this chicken broth is taking up all that dark goodness that's on the, top, the bottom of the pan. All right, so we got our chicken broth in, and we're adding three cups of water. Here's the last cup. Thank you, Ella. So we're putting in our russet potatoes. Put them in there easy because it will splash everywhere. Yes, this is take two because the broth and the water went everywhere just a minute ago. <laughs> Shirt. It's on my shirt too. And then we're going to let this uh, simmer, oh, about 10 minutes. I'm going to get my lid. I love you. I need a lid. Yes. Oh, heavy. All right, simmering for 10 minutes. Put the potatoes in, but Dad forgot to put the sausage in. So we're going to put the sausage in with the potatoes and we're going to let it simmer for 10 minutes. I'll try to leave all this grease out of the pot, mm, but that grease is so good. <laughs> Cut it down to a simmer. Perfect. And we've reduced the temperature down to a simmer. Add our four cups of kale. That's it really good. Let it simmer for another 10 minutes. Alexa. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Thank you, Alexa. All right, our 10 minutes are up. This is what it looks like. You get in there and see. See all that goodness of kale. Everything pretty much in there is healthy. Uh, low sodium, chicken broth, the kale's healthy. The bacon is not very healthy though, but okay. But we're trading that out for the kale, so the kale will be healthy. Now I'm going to take the camera, and Ella is going to add the one cup of whipping cream. And this is the final step right here. Okay. And then you take it. 
take this and just stir it around. Leave it on, I'm still got it on simmer, but I'm going to turn it down just a little more to low so the cream will get nice and warm all the way through. Do what? It looks so good. Uh -huh. okay. Make our own salad dress dressing, and this is one of my favorite, favorite things to do. And I'm going to show Ella. Ella's never done this before, so we're going to show her how. So, what I always do is I take an acid, it's one in three, so one part acid three parts olive oil. And I'm using a Prosecco wine vinegar, which is very good. And so Ella's gonna pour one tablespoon. Okay, so olive oil. Um, the, the bitterness from the um, Prosecco vinegar, we're gonna add some sugar to this to give it just a nice little flavor. So I was gonna add a heavy pinch of sugar. A little more? Maybe a little more. Add pepper. Oh, that was a lot, I'm sorry. That's okay. Just a pinch? Just a pinch. Maybe just a small pitch more. So now Ella's going to put lemon in there. Let me get over here. Lemon's just a little more acid and it gives it a nice little flavor once it's all in there. Everything up until all the sugar gets mixed up. And it'll take a little bit of whisking to do that. And again, you can do this with a balsamic three parts oil or just the lemon and the three part, parts oil. Any kind of acid you want to add with your oil to make the vinaigrette. I love doing this. This is my favorite thing. It's so fresh. All right, I think we're good. So we've got our greens in here. We used an, um, a super green mix that has some um, a spinach, chard, kale, and arugula in it. Uh, I love that particular mix. And then we did some cucumbers, um, julienne carrots, and some croutons. And then we have our vinaigrette that Ella so beautifully made, and she's gonna put it in here. And then she's gonna mix it up. I told her her hands were gonna get dirty. She's thrilled. <laughs> Until everything gets good and coated. Oh, um, we lost the leaf. Leaf down. Lost the chard. And feels, looks, looks good and coated. And then we'll take that and put it in the fridge and let, let it stay cool until we're ready to eat. Oh, um, we're gonna add a little extra pepper while Ella's washing her hands. Oh, we're gonna, uh, actually before you wash your hands, we'll wanna give that a nice little stir. All right, very good. Now here's our salad that Ella's gonna plate for us. Soup and salad on a cold April day, about 55 degrees here where we are, so a nice chilly day. And so we're getting ready to have a taste test, right? Yep. Right, I was going to taste it. Hot. <laughs> Good. Ella approved. I do.